Hello my sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today we are decorating this thankful and blessed pumpkin cutout from the Dollar Tree seven different ways. You're going to see different techniques and different styles. Let's get started. To get started on this pumpkin, first I'm removing the jute cord and then I'm grabbing my removable tile decals. Oh my goodness, these are awesome. They're new to Dollar Tree and they come in different prints. So definitely check those out. And for this DIY, I'm only using two of these squared ones. And now that I have my first one on, I'm going to grab the second one. And because there's edging on both sides, I'm going to take one of the edging from the second one. That way it's going to look like it's all together, it's all even. And now I'm going to just grab my X-Acto knife and just cut the outside shape of the pumpkin. The piece that's left over, we're going to put it on the front top of the pumpkin. And then before I cut out the shape of the pumpkin, I'm going to cut a straight line to fill in the other side of the top of the pumpkin. To make sure my line is nice and straight, I'm going to be using this right angle ruler from the Dollar Tree. And this ruler is an amazing thing to have in your supplies. Now that my last piece is on, I'm just going around and cutting out the shape of the pumpkin wherever it's not cut out. Now I'm grabbing some chalk paint and acrylic is just fine for this. And I'm going to go around the edges very carefully with a small brush and fill in all the sides with the white paint. This is just going to give it a beautiful finished look. Now I'm grabbing these Thanksgiving words from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use the one that says thankful. To paint these metal words, the best thing to do is to stencil on the paint like I'm doing right here because otherwise it'll just glide off. So just stencil, let it dry, then do it two more times, give it three good coats and then it should be fine. When that is all done, I'm going to go ahead and grab my Mod Podge and give it a nice layer of Mod Podge to seal everything in. If you're doing it on paper like I'm doing, what I also like to do is then I'm going to move it when I put the Mod Podge on. That way it's not drying straight onto the paper. On hand, I had this beautiful navy burlap ribbon and it's only 25 inches and I wanted to make a little banner and also a bow with it. So I cut out how much I needed for my banner. Next, I'm cutting two inches to put around the bow and I know it's not enough, but we will make it work. When you're working with a limited amount of ribbon and you need to make sure your tails are perfect, using this right angle ruler method is really, really easy. I'm just going to measure out three and a half inches for my tail and then I'm going to flip the ribbon around as you can see kind of like in upside down breast cancer ribbon and I'm going to measure three and a half inches on the other side also then find my center and just bring it down where I brought it down straight to the middle. That's where I'm going to grab my glue gun and put a little bead of hot glue to unite all my layers just a little bit because I'm going to put in a white bow on top of this blue one. For my white ribbon, I'm using the grow grain ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm just making a simple bow that's just a little bit smaller than my blue one using a little bit of hot glue to bring it together, then cutting off the tail and then just using a piece of jute cord, I'm going to bring it together and tie it in the back. Now I'm going to grab that two inch piece of ribbon that I cut off before and I'm going to grab it horizontally, cut off whatever I don't want, fold it in three and just put it around the middle of my bow and hot glue it in the back. After cutting the tails to size, I'm just hot gluing the bow to the top center of the pumpkin. Next, I'm hot gluing the banner in place and I'm just going to hot glue at the back of the pumpkin so none of the hot glue peeks through. And then I'm hot gluing the word thankful in place. And then underneath the letter F, I'm just going to give a bead of hot glue to unite the actual banner with the pumpkin. Thank you. 
Today's video is part of the pumpkin spice collab. We're not all making coffee DIYs, but we're all making DIYs that have something to do with pumpkins. This collab is being hosted by Crafty Laney and myself, and we are being joined by Lovely Moments Creating, The Crafty Quinn, and MB Grey Designs. I will link everyone's channels in the description box below along with the playlist. After you're done watching this video, click on that playlist and see what these amazing ladies have made for this collab. Now, let's move on to the the next pumpkin. To get started on the pumpkin, I'm going to remove the leaf with the little bow on it. Next, I'm going to remove the jute cord, and then I'm going to give the pumpkin two coats of white chalk paint. Next, I'm grabbing a brown acrylic paint by Craftsmart, and I'm going to paint the pumpkin stem with the brown. As my stem is drying, I'm going to dry brush some of the brown onto my pumpkin, and I'm really focusing on the edges here because that's how we're going to get the pumpkin to stand out. And I'm coming in with my strokes from outside in all around the pumpkin. Next, I'm grabbing two stems of the maple leaves and I'm going to grab two of those red ones and two of the yellow ones. Laying them out how I want to, I'm going to put the yellow ones first and then the red ones on top of them facing towards the center of the pumpkin and I'm going to hot glue all of them in place. For the bow, I'm going to keep it nice, simple, and sweet. I'm making a big loop, considering that it's going to be divided into two loops, cutting off the section that I want, and then just hot gluing both ends together, overlapping about an inch. Then I'm finding my center, squishing the bow together, and then grabbing a jute cord, I'm bringing it together and tying it in the back. After hot gluing it to the center of my leaves, I'm grabbing an acorn, and this one I had left over, but you can find one at the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to hot glue it to the center of my bow. I'm grabbing these leaf stickers from the Dollar Tree, I'm going to just hot glue them all throughout the inside of the pumpkin. To start this pumpkin, I did give it one coat of white chalk paint and then I realized I wanted the holes covered where we had the jute cord, so I grabbed some lightweight spackling and speckled both of the holes, let it completely dry and then gave it another coat of white chalk paint. Next, I painted the stem of the pumpkin in a shamrock green by Craftsmart. So my stem matches the greenery that I will be using. I'm going to add some celery green to the stem and I'm just going to play between both of the colors using the shamrock green, then the celery green, and I'm just going to kind of mix the colors together while they're wet so it has a natural look to it. For the wording, I will be using our life, our story, our home. This is a chalk couture stencil. You can also do this in Cricut or use Dollar Tree lettering if you want. All my chalk couture information is going to be in the description box below along with everything that I have used. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fuzz my stencil so it's not too sticky and not going to take any of my paint off. And if this is the first time using a stencil, like in my case, I'm going to do this six to seven times. Next, I'm going to center the stencil on my pumpkin, pat it down just a little bit, and then grabbing some of my Chalk Couture black velvet paste, and I'm going to use a mini squeegee to put it on the wording, and then just squeegee any of the excess off, and your wording should be perfect. This is so easy, even kids can do this. I'm absolutely in love with Chalk Couture. And now for my favorite part, the reveal. I'm just taking it off, and then right away I'm going to go and clean my stencil with some room temperature water. Grabbing some black chalk paint, I'm going to very lightly, I'm going to very lightly distress and just dry brush some of that black paint onto my pumpkin, working from outside in as always, and just focusing on those edges because that's what's going to help the pumpkin stand out a little bit. 
For the florals, I'm grabbing these two beautiful picks I got from the Dollar Tree. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to first even out to make sure that both of my pine cones are on top and my pumpkins are on the bottom. Next, I'm grabbing the stem and I'm going to fold it back in half. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. And then I'm going to interlock them together, kind of hook them one with the other and then hot glue the whole bundle to the top center of my pumpkin. Next, I'm grabbing one of these pumpkin clips. They come in a set of three, and I'm going to hot glue it kind of in the center of the whole bundle. That way it has like these three beautiful pumpkins right there in the center. To complete the project, I gotta do something. I cannot stand those plastic stems that the Dollar Tree has in their pumpkins. And the solution is so super simple. Go outside, grab a little twig, cut it up, and just hot glue it straight to the center of the pumpkin. And that is what I did for all three of these pumpkins. What do you guys think? To get started on this pumpkin, I first removed the little leaf, then I removed the jute cord. Next, I'm grabbing this shelf liner from the Dollar Tree. It has this black and white roses print. This is very popular. If you have seen Dollar Tree DIYs, I'm sure you've seen this one. And all I'm doing here is cutting a piece to make sure that it covers the whole pumpkin. Starting at one of the corners, I'm attaching the shelf liner straight to the pumpkin, and then I'm cutting off the excess. For the stem of the pumpkin, I'm going to grab some black chalk paint and the smallest paintbrush I had apparently, and I'm just going to give it one coat, and of course I'm going to paint the sides also. Next, I'm grabbing this farmer's market sign, and it does come with these little herbs and stuff, so I'm going to remove those and hot glue the sign to the left side of the pumpkin. Next, I'm grabbing this gorgeous black ribbon. It's in the Halloween section at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to make a simple bow. You can make it as large or as little as you would like. Next, I'm sealing the bone place by giving it just a dot of glue and bringing it all together. Next, I'm grabbing my favorite burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree that has a little lace right on top of it. And I'm going to do another simple bow, just a little bit smaller than that black one. And I'm going to do the same thing and give it a little bit of hot glue in between the layers to seal it in place. To bring the bows together, I'm using the jute cord that we removed in the beginning. And for the bows to stand up really nice, I'm going to fold them in half towards the center, then in half towards the side. And then I'm just going to wrap the jute cord around them and tie it in the back. Cutting off another piece of ribbon, I think this one was about two and a half inches. I'm folding it in thirds and then in half again. And then just putting it on the center of my bow and hot gluing it in the back. And now I'm just making all the tails of my bow into little ducktails. Now I'm grabbing my wood shapes and I get these at Target in the dollar spot. And I picked out a bigger one and a smaller one and I'm just hot gluing them to the bottom of the farmer's market sign and then hot gluing the bow in place and this pumpkin is done. To start this pumpkin, I'm going to make a four ribbon bow going from largest to smallest. And I'm starting with this buffalo check. And for this buffalo check that does come from the Dollar Tree, the most important thing is to cover the ends because they do fray really badly. So what I do is I fold them once and then twice and this will seal it in no fraying at all. Just to make sure that my tails are even, I am using my right angled ruler. And just to make sure you, when you're cutting the buffalo check, make sure you cut off a little bit of excess to fold that tail back. Now I'm just going to give the bow a little bit of hot glue to seal it in place. And we're going to move on to the next one. 
Next, I'm grabbing my burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree, making a simple bow, measuring my tails to make sure I have enough. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller than my buffalo check one and just putting a little bit of hot glue to seal it in place. And then for the small buffalo check and the orange ribbon, we are going to do the exact same thing, simple bows. To make it easier on ourselves to bring this bow together, I'm first going to hot glue the orange to the mini ribbon, and then I'm going to use a piece of the orange ribbon to bring my big buffalo check and the burlap ribbon together as one, and then it's going to be easy to hot glue the smaller ribbon right in the center of the two bigger ones. Now I'm grabbing these mini pumpkins, and yes, I got these at the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to grab one and hot glue it straight to the center of my bow. To complete this bow, I'm just cutting the excess tail from the orange and the mini buffalo check ribbon. Next, I'm going to be using these decorative pumpkins, and as you can tell, I painted this pumpkin black, and the first thing I'm going to do is choose it whether I want to use the orange or the black ones. I just thought there was too much of the black and white buffalo check, so I decided to go with the orange pumpkins. Now I'm just using some of these poster letters from the Dollar Tree, and I'm spelling out fall. And this is going to look so cool because the pumpkin is black, the letters are black, and it's going to look like the pumpkins have black cutouts of the letters. Now I'm just moving things around to see where I want the letters, and I'm hot gluing everything in place, including the bow. To get started on this pumpkin, I'm going to give it two coats of white chalk Rust-Oleum paint. Next, I'm mixing together pale blue and saline sky paints by Craftsmart. They're both acrylic, and this is just to get to that kind of frozen, elegant blue shade. And as you can see, I'm following the contours of the pumpkin and kind of making an oval in the middle and going all around the edges. And I'm just going to do this until it feels right to me and looks right to me. And of course, don't forget to also color the stem in that beautiful blue shade that you're going to make. I gave my paint about half an hour to dry, and now I'm grabbing some glitter that I got at Walmart and some Mod Podge. And everywhere where I have my blue, I'm just going to paint on some Mod Podge and put glitter over it. And then after this, I'm going to give it a good hour to dry. Next, I'm grabbing my frozen decals, and I'm going to just start putting them wherever I felt like. And the hardest part about this project is uniting the cold and the hot tones, because the blues and the whites are very cool. And then you have the fall leaves in this decal, which are kind of red, and then Anna's dresses on the warmer side. So in this pumpkin, I tried my best to kind of work with all those beautiful colors, make it cohesive, make it look beautiful. And in case you're wondering, yes, this decal is from the Dollar Tree. Now that everything is in place, I'm really going to pour on the Mod Podge and it's going to go everywhere, especially where all the sparkles are because I want to seal those in place. And I'm going to put it aside for two hours to completely dry. For the bow, first I'm taking a one inch grow grain ribbon and I'm going to make a simple bow that I'm going to hot glue it together in the middle and put it aside. Now I'm grabbing this super glam ribbon from the Dollar Tree, but when I made my simple bow, I really did not like that blue on the inside because it was so glam on the outside. So I decided to measure how much I need and make that first loop, just hot glue it right there. And then I'm taking another piece of ribbon and I'm hot gluing it to the center of the bow, but you kind of have to hot glue it as you're molding it because otherwise it's not going to look right. So that's why I'm kind of putting that second ribbon on and kind of playing with the bow just to make sure that it doesn't have like these weird folds in it. And it worked out beautifully. And now instead of having that blue show, it's a beautiful glam bow on both sides. 
Now I'm grabbing that smaller grow grain ribbon that is from the Dollar Tree and I just cut off a little piece and covered the center of the bow. And then in the middle of that bow, I'm grabbing these mini little pumpkins that come from the Dollar Tree. And as you know, I do not like those little sticks. So I am going to hot glue a little twig right in the center of that mini pumpkin. Then grabbing my X-Acto knife, I'm going to cut one third of my pumpkin kind of horizontally in the back on the side i'm showing you right here so you kind of see the close-up and i'm just going to hot glue that straight onto the bow and then all that's left is to hot glue the bow to the actual pumpkin and we are all done with our beautiful frozen pumpkin and this one's going to my little niece mila To get started on this pumpkin, I removed the metal leaf and then the tag. And now I'm multitasking over here. I'm warming up the little sticker so I can remove it. And I'm also putting some lightweight spackling on that little hole on top. And then where I remove the sticker, I'm just sanding it down real quick. And then when the speckle dried, I sanded over that area also. Next, I'm going to give my pumpkin one coat of black chalk paint, and I found that that was way more than enough. Now I'm going to grab this Give Thanks sign that I got at the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to remove those felt pumpkins. One side came off really easy, and the other one was struggling a little bit, so be careful. Don't take it off real quick. Just easy does it all the way around, and you'll be able to remove the whole thing. And now I'm just hot gluing these pumpkins to the side of my pumpkin. And the cool part about it is the outline of these pumpkins is black and it matches the background and they blend it really nicely. Now I'm going to make a shabby bow. So I just got a bunch of ribbon and I'm working from my biggest, meaning widest ribbon, to my thinnest ribbon. I'm starting with this pumpkin one that I got at the Dollar Tree. And by the way, all the ribbon is from the Dollar Tree. And I measured out how much I wanted to, and I'm going to make ducktails, and I'm going to do the same thing with the green ribbon and the one after that, and just keep on layering them from the biggest to the smallest. The mini buffalo check one, I decided to make two of them and crisscross them in the middle, and then finish off with the white, and then finish off with the white grow grain ribbon right on top. Then grabbing a piece of jute cord, I'm bringing the bow together and I'm going to hot glue it straight to the pumpkin. To match the orange pumpkins, I decided to grab some brown paint and paint the stem a little bit. And as you can see, I picked up the ribbon, so the ribbon's not getting dirty or anything like that. But I did let this dry and then gave it a second coat so it's nice and solid brown. Next, I'm going to make simple bows with some needle and thread. This is one of my favorite bows to make when I'm making tiny bows because it comes out so stinking cute. So all I'm doing is just making the bow, then poking the needle straight through the center of the bow, and then just taking the thread and wrapping it around the bow a few times, then bringing it together, and I'm just making a few knots in the back to seal it in place, and that's it. Next, I made the same exact bow, and one I'm going to put on the little pumpkin, and the other one is going to go on the big pumpkin. To finish these bows off, I did give both of them some beautiful dovetails. For the center of my bows, I decided to put little buttons, and I got these at the Dollar Tree, and I picked out these black and white little buttons and hot glued them to the center of each bow. Next, I'm getting my wood shapes that I get at the Dollar Spot at Target, and I chose this beautiful orange little pumpkin to put in the middle of my shabby chic bow, and then I grabbed another one of these, and this one says the word thankful, and it's a sticker. So you just remove the backing and stick it straight onto the felt. It will hold really well. If this is going to travel or you're going to sell it, I still would recommend to hot glue it in place just to secure it. I'm keeping this one for myself, so just sticking it on there should be just fine. 